Joomla is the website framework that we've chosen to build your website with. There are a lot of reasons for this and we'll discuss a few of those reasons. Um, and we'll also discuss in this tutorial some of the vocabulary that you should know um, when dealing with your Joomla website. Joomla is a content management system or CMS. What that means is that you can quickly and easily change any of the text um, you can add new pages or you can remove pages very quickly and easily without having to know any HTML or any programming techniques. In addition to being able to manage the content and your images very easily, Joomla is so much more powerful because of the fact that it's an extensible application framework. What that means is that we can add new pieces of software to your website very quickly and easily. At extensions.joomla.org you can find thousands of pieces of software that plug into your Joomla website um, simply with an install button. Say for example that you wanted to build a calendar or put a calendar on your website, you could come to extensions.joomla.org, search for calendar, and in this case we find 79 results for calendars. All you would do is click on the one you want and download it and then in the back end of Joomla you could install it. This is what the back end looks like um, and very quickly we'll show you um, what you can do in the back end. I just mentioned extensions. This is where you would come to install and uninstall extensions um, and manage some of the, your other modules, plugins, and templates. and We'll discuss these more in detail later. This is also where you would manage the content portion of your website through components or through articles. You also manage your menus and you can manage users and some of the other configurations on your website. In this tutorial we're going to concentrate more on the front end and um, some of the terms that you will need to understand because you will primarily be managing your website and your content through the front end. Let's quickly discuss the framework of Joomla. Um, you noticed when I was in the back end that there are modules and plugins, components and content. Let's look in the front end um, and discuss each of those items. Um, Joomla is a dynamic system of these modules, components, and plugins, which means that they can be placed anywhere we tell them to. Um, more specifically, a template defines positions for modules and for content, and then we, through the back end, can determine which position we want a module in. Um, to show you these module positions and t in order to recognize what is a module on the page you can always go to your URL and type in question mark TP equals one that stands for template positions so in this template you'll notice it outlines all of these positions this position is called top um, and there is something inside of that if there's an outline with a label for the name of that position it means what is inside of it is a module. That also means that we can move or change the position of any of these. Say for example that we wanted this main menu to show up over on the right hand side then we would go into the back end and the module manager and change the position from left to right. You'll also notice that the main portion of the website is not outlined. That means that it's either a component which is something that you have downloaded, um, some software that you've plugged into your website such as a calendar or a forum, or it's an article or basic text um, and content that you've loaded to your website. Again, each of these modules are managed using the back end of your website. In the front end, you can manage all of the content or the text and images in the content portion of your website. To do that you need to log in. In this case we have a module for logging in 
but you may have been given a link or a URL to go to. Once I'm logged in, you'll notice I have a user menu, which is viewable only for registered users, and I also have a new icon here, the paper and pencil icon. If I were to click on that button, I'd be presented with a WYSIWYG editor where I could manage the text, I could add images, and I could change the look of any of that content on my website. In this tutorial, we very briefly and quickly introduced some of the terms and vocabulary that you should be familiar with um, with regards to your Joomla website. Again, Joomla is a content management system, or CMS, that is extensible through extensions. Always remember, just like iPhone has, there's an app for that, Joomla has, there's an extension for that. Joomla is split up in a back end where you can manage some of the structure of your website and a front end where you can manage much of the text and images. We will have more detailed tutorials and instructions regarding each of the topics we discussed today, specifically managing content from the front end, managing your modules, and some of the more advanced functions of Joomla that are done in the back end.